Hi, welcome to another Urban Outdoorsman SoCal video. My name is Danny Milton and today we're in El Dorado Park. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be testing out some new arrows. I am a huge follower of John Dudley um, through his videos on YouTube and the School of Knock and I mean just I've watched hours and hours and hours of his videos. Um, it's basically taught me how to shoot. It's taught me a lot about equipment and I mean just a multitude of things. Probably I would say 95% of what I've learned about archery in my short six, seven month uh, time here has come from John Dudley watching his, you know, his hunts and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what I've done is I support his channel. I mean, he gives all this information out for free. I support his channel. I've bought a lot of his clothes. I've got a knock on shirt here. Um, I just recently purchased the, the Eastern Axis arrows from him. I have just a bunch of stuff from his channel. And I would recommend that you do the same because he is giving out just a wealth of information for free, basically, on his website and on YouTube. So what we're doing today is I just most recently purchased the Eastern Axis arrows from his website. I veined them and did all the fletchy and that, all that stuff myself. Uh, but what we're going to be doing today is seeing which vein configuration groups the best for my bow. He also did a video like this to see which vein would group best for his bow. You know, he did a long shot, some short shots and whatever. Um, I would definitely recommend that you go watch his video if you want to see how that's done. This is just going to be my experience and my results with my bow. You know, every bow is different. Poundage, archer, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, he's going to be much more accurate than I am. So right now, the bow that I'm shooting is the 2020 PSC Drive 3B. Um, I have the XL version because I'm a little bit taller, so it has a little bit longer axle to axle. Um, currently, right now, I have the bow set up at 55 pounds. I also bought some Victory Carbon Arrows for when I went hunting. I believe it was six, six arrows for $96. Um, those are the veins, or those are the arrows that I have my bow currently tuned at. I, you know, I paper tuned it, walk back tune. I've got my, my, my sight all set up for that particular arrow and that arrow weighs about 450. I'll put the exact measurements right in the bottom of the screen. Now what we're going to be doing, what I'm going to be shooting today with the East and Axis arrows are much heavier. <laughs> Plus it also has that 50 grain brass, uh, 50 grain brass insert inside of it. These arrows, depending on the vein configuration, will weigh anywhere from 540 grains all the way up to 565 grains per arrow. So I'm, it's a big jump in, in weight as far as each arrow goes, so I will definitely have to adjust my sighting and all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to do that today. We just want to see where these different veins are going to group. So I also did a video on me building these arrows, the Eastern Axis arrows from Knock On. You can click that link right there. So once we kind of figure out which veins are gonna work best for me, I mean, they all could shoot really great, who knows? We're gonna find out which one is going to shoot best at short range, which one's gonna shoot best at long range on a windy day like today right now. It's probably 65 degrees and I have a little bit of wind coming into my face, no side wind right now, but it could change. So we're just going to start off at 20 yards. That way I don't have to worry about the heavier eastern arrows falling too low from where I'm sighted in at 20 yards. Uh, once we get that, we're going to see where those are grouping. Then I'll probably move out to about 40 or 50 yards, shoot some more arrows, and we'll see how they're grouping from that distance as well. Okay, so we're just going to shoot a couple arrows real quick uh, of my arrows that I've been shooting. These are not the Axis arrows. This first one's going to be a victory arrow. Hopefully, because I'm on camera, I'll actually be able to hit something. Just to give you an idea of my ability, um, we're at 20 yards right now. Hopefully, this is the first take and the only take. It's not bad so far. Now, this is one of the cheaper arrows I bought. This is like the $8 to $9 range. These hit a little bit higher, so I have to aim a little bit lower on the target. Just because they're a little bit lighter, about 25, 30 grains. A little high on that one, but we're still in the 10. So I've been shooting these arrows for a little bit, and it seems pretty much at 20 yards that they're all grouping about the same. I'm having really good results so far. 
So I'm just going to shoot one more of each and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is the Max Hunter. This is the Max 23 vein. This is the Pro Max, Max Stealth. This is the PM 2.0 vein. It's not included in the sample pack, but I bought some. And this is the Pro Max. This is the smaller of the two hunting veins. Let's go take a look. Right here, this first one, this bottom right target, that's the Max Hunter. That wasn't a great shot. I pulled that one a little bit. See, bottom left is the Max 23. That's a good shot. Got a bullseye right here on the Max Stealth. Up here, we've got the Pro Max. That's inside the 10 ring and the PM 2.0 inside the 10 as well. So it seems like at 20 yards, all of the different veins are, I'm getting really good results out of them. Um, I was a little bit too chicken to shoot all three at one target just because I didn't want to take the chance of, you know, Robin Hooding an arrow or breaking the, the knock out of the back of one. So I was just shooting each different type of vein at the either bottom target or the top target and just looking how far off center they were you know i did have a couple of misfire not misfires but i did have a couple of bad shots but for the most part all four actually all five of the different veins were shooting really good for me most of the shots were inside the 10 ring every once in a while i'd have a bad you know release or something like that and i'd be a little bit off okay back for day two uh yesterday when i moved out to 50 yards I started to get a little bit tired and I was missing some shots, so I didn't want that to affect my overall accuracy. I'm gonna shoot the Max Hunters first. All right, the Max Hunters look like a pretty tight little group. All right, now we're shooting uh, Max Stealth. Like I said before, I only have two of them, so I really need to group these two well. All right, that looks like actually a pretty solid group. I'm kind of excited to go look at those two. All right, so now we're gonna be shooting the Max 23 vein. This is like a mini Max Stealth vein. Uh, still pretty long, but not nearly as tall. Um, probably be a little bit better for a higher wind scenario. That's the Max 23 vein. That is a three arrow group. I shot those at 50 yards and we're looking at maybe an inch, inch and a quarter group there. So under these conditions, all four of the vein configurations did pretty much the same. I got pretty much the same results. Some of the groups were a little bit tighter. Some of the groups were spread out a little bit more. Um, so you like, for instance, the Pro Max, the, the tightest group I got with those was about maybe an inch and a half i want to say uh, but like the max 23 i got you know I, I one and a half inch group at 50 yards the max stealth was very similar i only have two of those but that was maybe a half inch apart that was my best group at 50 yards the max hunter um i had that you know vertical string those were at 50 yards and those were maybe an inch and a half apart you know tip to tip Pelvis to pelvis. Let's go tip to tip. There we go. The kids call this docking. I got pretty much the same results out of all four of the vein configurations. Now, depending on, you know, elevation or wind, or if you want your arrow to be a specific weight, like if you're looking for like, you know, an arrow that's going to weigh exactly like 445 grains or 545 grains, um, these are all in the 500-ish range between the lowest you know the lightest arrow setup and the max stealth which is the largest vein i want to say there was about a 20 to 25 grain difference so they all did a really good job when i was when i had really good shots they were literally right on top of each other okay so overall this has been a lot of fun um, shooting these new arrows with these four four vein configurations as far as being closer to the center goes the max 
the Pro Max and the Max or the Pro Max and the Max Hunter were usually closer as far as distance goes. But for left and right, the Max 23 was almost always dead center line. So my bow, I have not tuned it to these arrows. All of this grouping was done with my bow tuned to my previous hunting arrow, which was a victory arrow. Um, in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to paper tune the bow. I'm going to come out here and do a center shot or like a French tune or like a, it's called a walk back tune as well. Whereas, you know, you shoot a target at three yards and you shoot the target at 50 yards and you kind of figure out, you know, moving your, your arrow rest left and right. You want to get those shots on center. Once I do that, I'll recite in my bow as far as distance goes because these arrows, because they are so much heavier, I'm at like, I'm at 50 yards right now, but my, my scope is set to 62 yards. So it was a 12 yard difference in these heavier arrows compared to my previous victory arrow, which is, you know, 450 grains. So I'm gonna have to redo all that. I'm also gonna turn up the poundage on my bow just a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing all that stuff in the next videos. So if you guys wanna check out that video, please stay tuned. Do all that fun stuff for me, please. Like, share, comment. Definitely subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click that bell notification and set that notification to all videos or whatever the notification is. That way YouTube will let you know when I send out new videos. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. So last thing you do for me is click on one of these two boxes. One's gonna take you to a favorite video, another to a YouTube suggestion, and you can click that logo over there, the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo to subscribe. Thanks a lot.